Hi everyone, so in this video we're going to see together how we can create a boss arena and then when we enter into it, it closes the door and our enemy appears. So let's get started. So I have created uh, that area where like uh, we're going to have the boss that's going to be here and my player going to enter and I want my player when he enter into that area to uh, collide with uh, a specific zone here that will trigger a door that closed. And so for doing that, what I need to do is to create first an area 2D and then I'm going to create a collision shape to it. I'm going to put a rectangle and I'm going to rename uh, that area trigger. I'm going to create a script. So I'm going to come here, I'm going to put that into my script folders. Trigger, create. And here basically we need two things. We need first to have uh, a function that handle the fact that when the player enters to it, uh, it does something and we need uh, to uh, make it uh, emit a signal that's going to be received by the doors that's going to close when the signal, the signal is emitted. So I'm going to create a signal and I'm going to say player enter and then I'm going to create a function. It's going to be a physics process delta and here I'm going to say uh, var bodies equal get overlapping bodies and then I'm going to say for body in bodies if body dot name double equal player then we want it to emit the signal player enter so the signal that we have here and then we want it to queue free so basically what's um what this is gonna do is when you go back to the scene so i'm gonna create the trigger here so i'm gonna take that area i'm gonna move it here And I'm going to just resize it to, to make it bigger. Something, I think something like that will be fine. So yeah. So when the player will enter in that zone, that zone will emit a signal that will go to a door that's going to arrive here and it's going to close. That's basically what it, uh, what it does. Uh, so I'm going to save that. And now I need to actually create the, the doors. So for that, I'm going to uh, come here, click on the plus, and I'm going to create a static body 2D. And I'm going to add a collision shape 2D as well. And I'm going to add a sprite. And I'm going to add an animation player. It's going to be a very, very simple thing. So I'm going to show you. So here first, I'm going to call it door. The collision shape, I'm going to uh, put a new rectangle. And then I need a sprite. So the sprite, I already have it. It's in my sprite folders. So no. it's right here. And it's here. So it's a grill. It's a very simple one, as you can see. Like very, very simple. But that's what we need. So no need to go overly complicated. So I'm just adjusting my collision shape. As you can see now, the collision shape is taking everything. So now I'm going to create a free animation. I'm going to create idle. Active. And closed. So the idle, I'm going to go back on my sprite. I'm going to go to transform. I'm going to key the position. And I'm going to do the same for the collision shape. And that's what I need to do here. I'm going to put it at 0 0.1 because it's just like one frame, so no need to go crazy on the animation. And then I'm going to uh, go on active and I'm going to do exactly the same. So I'm going to key the collision shape and I'm going to key the sprite. But what I'm going to do now is like around I think around 6 is good. Uh, I'm going to change the position uh, vertically, so it's going to be 96 and I'm gonna key it and I'm gonna do the same for the collision shape it's gonna be 96 and I'm gonna key it so now I need to have the close animation and basically I just need to have the the sprite and the collision shape at the same position so that's it so I'm just gonna take those and I'm gonna move them here ah no 
I'm just gonna move them here and I'm gonna put dot one here. Okay, I'm just gonna put the idle on auto load even if there's no animation, but you know, that's, that's the thing. Uh, and that's it. Now I'm gonna uh, save that. It's gonna be uh, in the prefab folder and I'm gonna call it door enemy. And one thing you need to make sure is that on the animation player, you're on the, the right animation. So here I am on idle. Because now I'm going to move my uh, my prefab. I'm going to put my prefab in the scene. And depending, like the, the animation is going down, if you have the, the door that is on the animation that's going down, it's going to be uh, misplaced in your, um, in your uh, game and it would create like uh, not what you want to do. So I'm going to put my door here. And I'm gonna put the door something around here and I'm gonna change the Z index. I'm gonna put it to minus one. And so normally if I move it down, yeah, that's good. So now basically what I need to do is bring on my trigger. Uh, actually first, what I need to do is going on my uh, door, just move it here because it was like in my trigger. Uh, and here yeah, I'm gonna say so I'm gonna create a script I'm gonna be doing me and I'm gonna put it in my script folder voila so now uh, what I'm gonna do is like I've created a script and now that I've created a script I can uh, connect my uh, trigger zone to my door so I click on my trigger I go to node I go to my signal player enter and I connect it to my door that is right here and now uh, on my door right here I have that script and here I can, acti I can activate the, um, the animation so first thing first I'm gonna call the animation player I'm gonna say that play and it's gonna be I, uh, active then I'm gonna call a yield and I'm gonna say get tree create timer and it's gonna be uh, 1.3, I believe. And it's gonna be a timeout. So this will wait uh, one second and three uh, milliseconds uh, to trigger after that the close uh, animation that I'm gonna call now, animation player dot play. And here it's gonna be closed. And that's basically what we need to do. And after that, we need to have a signal that will be emitted when uh, the um, uh, the door is closed, so like that we can trigger the animation of the enemy. So, I'm gonna say emit signal, and it's gonna be is closed. So, now that I have this, I can create the enemy. So the enemy, I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna create a kinematic body, 2D. I'm gonna add a collision shape. I'm gonna add a sprite. And I'm going to add an animation player. I'm going to rename it Boss Enemy. I'm going to give it a rectangle shape. And here for the sprite, I'm going to go and take my uh, sprite of the enemy. So I haven't saved it. So I'm going to. So I have here my animation. Basic animation, very simple, but I will do the jobs. So I'm going to go to export sprite sheets in the output. Am I in the right output? So yes, I am. I'm going to create a folder. I'm going to call it boss enemy. I'm going to create here, export. And now I have it in my sprite folder. So I can come here. I select my sprite. And then here, I just drag my sprite sheet here. So where is it? It's right here. So I have three row uh, horizontal and three row vertical. So I'm gonna go into animation, three horizontal frame, three vertical frame. So like that, I have my um, my animation is set up nicely. Here, I just need to adjust my collision shape. I'm gonna do something like this. Something like this should be fine. And now I'm going to create the animation. So I'm going to create idle. And I'm going to create another one. It's going to be um, 
appears. So I'm going to first go with idle. So I'm going to go back on my sprite. And I'm going to key here. And I'm going to just put that here. And I'm going to really go back on my sprite. Activate it. Voilà. So now that's good. I'm going to put that at dot eight. And I'm going to do the same for the collision shape, actually. So I'm going to come here, transform. I'm going to add it. So I'm going to move it roughly where my enemy is moving. So it's going to be like this, then like this. It doesn't have to be perfect. This is up to you, but we'll do it like this for now. Time it, find key it. Voilà. And now that's good. So I'm going to put that on loop. And so normally, now it should be fine. Yeah, it works fine. Okay, so now we need to actually create the animation for when our enemy going to appear. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to go on appears. And here, what I'm going to do is like, I'm going to put something like four seconds. And I'm going to uh, do the same, actually. So I'm going to go back on my sprite. I'm going to do that. Uh, and I'm going to... Here, I'm going to change the alpha. So I'm going to go on visibility. And I'm going to click on self-modulate. And I'm going to put the alpha to zero. And I'm going to time it. I'm going to go to the collision shape. And I'm going to disable it. And I'm going to time it. And then I can do a flickery uh, effect. So here, I'm going to go back on my sprite. I'm going to say, I'm going to time the same stuff. And here, I'm just going to put it a little bit like this. I'm going to time it, OK it. Then here, I'm going to put the same. I'm going to put it back to zero in the alpha, key it. And after that, I'm going to create a little break. So I'm going to put it here. And here, I'm going to key back the frame. And I'm going to put it like this. And I'm going to go until here. So here, I'm going to do. I'm going to do the actual animation. And here, I'm going to say something like, it's going to be here. I'm going to put the alpha to the max. And so now, let's see how it looks. OK. So here, I'm going to put the, the end of the animation at 2.4. And that's going to be it. OK. So now what I need to do is to actually create a script for basically calling uh, those animations. So I'm going to go back here in my script, create. And so I need uh, a, a lot of little variable. So one of the variable that I need is basically I need to create here. In the funk ready function, I need to call an animation. So that animation is going to be... Uh, oh, I need to actually uh, to create another animation, sorry. So I need to call invisible. And this one is going to be just one. Just one. It's going to be like this. I'm going to uh, put it here. I'm going to do the same for the collision shape. And I'm going to put the alpha to zero. So like that, or, uh, ah, no, it's not what I was looking to do. Ah, no, it's not the collision shape, it's the sprite that I want, the alpha to be to zero. Voila. So I'm going to do that, create, and here I'm going to say dot one. Okay. So 
I'm saving that by the way because I haven't saved it apparently. So I'm gonna save it. And I'm just gonna make also something because I think I've made a little mistake here. Yeah, so I need also to key the fact that, uh, so no, not on this one, but on idle, I need to key the fact that my collision shape is active. So I go on here, untick disable, and here I'm going uh, like that. And for the alpha, I'm gonna do the same as well. Like I come here and I reactivate the alpha. Oh, it's not gonna work. Voilà. So now it should work fine. Okay. I'm gonna see appears. Okay. That's good. And invisible. That's good. Okay. So now I can actually <laughs> create the call the animation. So the first thing I'm gonna do is like I'm gonna go in the ready function and I'm gonna look for animation player. So here I'm gonna set that play and it's going to be invisible. Voilà. Now I need to create a function. And that function is going to be linked to uh, the actual uh, signal that we have created in the level. Uh, when the door is closed, we have that signal here. So I'm going to go back on my level and I'm going to take my enemy. My boss enemy is here. I'm going to put it here. And so, uh, where is it? Now, my enemy is here. I'll just locate it at the right way, at the right uh, angle, the right position, got them. I'm gonna make it like free and free. So like this, it will be big. And so, now we need to connect the door, the signal of the door to the enemy. So, connect. I'm gonna go to my enemy. And I connect it. And so now here I can call the animation. And I'm gonna say animation animation player dot play. Uh, so dot play and it's gonna be uh, appears. Then I'm gonna call a yield yield uh, animation player animation player animation finished and then I'm gonna say animation player dot play and it's gonna be idle okay and so now normally here I should have everything needed to actually when I enter into my zone to have the door that close and the enemy that appears I'm just gonna change the Z index of my door so I'm gonna put the Z index at minus one so like this it appears behind the time map and so now launch let's launch the game and see how it works so i enter i have my zone and now i have my animation that play so that's good my play my um, enemy is too big so i'm just gonna go here and i'm gonna say two and two because we barely can't see it I'm gonna move it down, something like that. I'm gonna put it here, put it here, and so now let's say, let's see that. I enter. Yes, and now my enemy is playing. So that's good. I can potentially uh, change the animation of the boss enemy. So I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go to appears, and I'm gonna put it at. What's the thing? It is, it appears at at two, so I'm gonna put it at two. So like that, it will be good. And so if I come here now, I try, I enter. It should be a bit more like uh, natural. Yes. And I have my enemy that appears, but now our enemy, we need to actually uh, code it to make it like having a sort of pattern. Uh, I would like to create two or three attacks, and so that's what we're going to do next time. So thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!